Hello everybody, this is Rich Cispedes, and I just wanted to share a very important video, and uh, this video is very old, I just uh, happened to look at it recently, and I want to share it with you, um, it has a lot of common sense on it, and it talks about the problems of society, and what causes problems in society and humanity, it talks about uh, the problems with money, it talks about the problems with um, when the workplace, and how they arise, so um, it's a very important video, um, it's not spiritual or nothing, it's just common sense. It's just looking at uh, things from a distance and having common sense and compassion. So, um, you guys have to listen to it a little bit. It takes a while. Um, I was kind of rambling a little bit, but it has a lot of common sense. Please listen to it. I tried to edit it the best I could. Please be patient. Thank you. If your business is did not, it's created from an idea that's one-dimensional in terms of helping the bottom dollar or helping yourself then you're not helping the people around you and when people who come to work for your business come to work at your business they're going to be affected by that and that's going to spread through and it's like a domino effect so that's why there's dismay and disheartening in, 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 in schools and sometimes um, schools they lose the track of why they're schools people go work for schools and they forget that you're you're working with people, you're working with young people, children. You're there to help them and, and to build them and to make them better people. To, to then spread the message of respecting others. You know, uh, teachers res uh, forget that and um, principals for, uh, forget that. People who are principals for the schools, they forget that. And you have to remember that people helping people is what makes the world better. But again, if your company is not, it did not come from a good situation or a good idea then you're just adding to the problem and when people come to work for your work come work at, at your place of business to make money to live you know because we're so focused on making money we're not focused on actually helping ourselves to better our our health to better our lives how do you better your life when you bet when you help your health you're bettering your perception of your life when you help to better your perception of your life then then you're helping to to um, better better the people around you when you're helping yourself when you're helping yourself through better health you're better you're bettering your 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 you're elevating your you're elevating your your consciousness to a higher level to better your life to better your perception which which then leads to actual living better a, a better life you know and we have to start focusing on that not just making money because we're focused on oh well um you know yeah i'll eat tomorrow i'll eat some uh cooked ribs and uh, i'll eat some burgers and things like that but you have to also focus on the fact that what you eat is just as important as making a hundred dollars tomorrow to pay your bill the government has to focus on that people are in charge of the government like i said even when you're not at school you're connected to the school as a human even when not at work you're connected to work why because people work there people make connections to people even when they're not in the same environment they remember that environment because people make that connection to that to that environment and when and when you're not and when and when you're in an environment that's hostile because of poor health and because of bad ideas then that person has a negative uh, negative connection to that environment whether or not they're there or not you know and just like I said um just to add to the idea of food food it really does make a difference food is information that helps to replenish the body it brings information it helps to rebuild the body it helps to perpetuate the health of the body you know you may not believe me but it's just as important as making money is your health your perception your your health is just as important as paying your bills it should be the first thing your business should be about people not about money the first thing is people the government should be about the people not about the money when they help the people they'll help themselves they'll help the environment they'll decrease violence in the streets they'll decrease problems and learning its situations for kids at schools and, and help to better the situation help to better the the planet and help to better our, our country when you eat a uh, when you eat a, a cooked piece of a beef on a grill 
You have to remember that it comes from an animal. You put on the grill, you put your spatula on it, you're cooking it, it's sizzling, it's being cooked, it's being burnt, it's being cooked, it's, it's blackened, and, 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 and you put on a burger and you eat it. You have to understand that everything affects us. The, the very process of cooking that meat, we're eating the process, the whole process of that, of that object. We're digesting the negativity of the food being burnt. Even though it's not burning in us, we're, we're digesting that very process, that negative process. We're digesting that. And that negativity, the meat itself doesn't have a lot of nutrients for the human body. It, it, it affects the way we think and feel. Now, hear me out. Whatever you eat, your body tries to get the nutrients so it can rebuild the cells in the body, the bones. Every day, your bones lose mass. But when, but when you eat the proper foods, it rebuilds it and strengthens it. And every day, your muscles lose some sort of some mass because your body uses energy. When you eat the right foods, it rebuilds it. When your brain uses neurological energy, it uses a lot of uh, uh, mental energy. And when you eat the proper foods, you rebuild the energy, you restructuralize the neuroplasty. When you eat the proper foods, you reconstruct the neuroplasty to its appropriate state. When you eat the proper foods, when we eat the, when we eat foods that are inadequate, like beef all the time, and chips, and we drink a lot, we smoke a lot, the body's trying to get something from those, from those foods. When you start to eat more properly, you cleanse yourself, you rebuild, the, you, your body's using the proper tools, the proper um, um, building blocks to rebuild itself in a more positive structural manner. And it really does help people to live better and to treat each other better. And, um, you know, we just have to start eating right. Eating really does help help uh, people to exist in, in, in their lives better and respect each other better. And we have to start really thinking about that, not just about money, but as health. I think that health and people should come, the future should be about health and people and our environment and how we treat each other before the dollar because a dollar is just a manifestation of an, uh, of an idea. Money doesn't, money itself doesn't build buildings, it's people that build buildings. Money is just an influence to make people want to do it. But if we didn't have money, we would still be able to create a vaccine for uh, things which we really don't need. We just could eat apple or orange or whatever. But, you know, we could still build buildings. We could still do artwork. We could still uh, do mechanic work on a car. Even if there was no money, we could still do all of that. Remember that. We don't need, we don't really need money. Money is a... Is, is a is just is just an idea to help to influence people to to want to help each other and to do things you know but I think the future should be about we should obliterate money and people should focus more on the value of paying people back that should be money money should be the idea of money or or the idea of reward should be about helping your helping your environment to help yourself you know, not to get paid per hour, but to get paid through helping your environment and helping others. That should be the new wave of money. Is is just to work to better your life and the better and the and to work for the better of your your uh community. That should be money. That should be the new wave of money. That should be the new money for the future. We're not gonna be paid with paper. We're going to get paid by a pat in the back, a handshake, and maybe even a, a, a kiss on the forehead, you know, respect. And everyone is going to be paid like that. That should be new money. And uh, uh, thank you very much. This is Rich Cespedes, and I hope that if you leave any comments and if you like my videos, leave comments and comments or whatever. Uh, and, and like my video and everything. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay.